operates in the uh, Google Chrome browser or any browser, uh, any, any web browser you like. And uh, from here we can see the HTML manager. Here it shows uh, two server connected together. The left one is active one, uh, active server, in the and the right one is the passive server, which means the two server here. With some quick settings, we can uh, directly uh, read the file store on the next server here. We have three folders here. Uh, I hope now I want to uh, read this thing. Uh, these icons are the, are the, <coughs> are the file we are going to demonstrate. Uh, for example, if we try to uh, create a shared storage from uh, in the company, we, we store many uh, icons on the server. And uh, we see our system, we can create a very short, uh, quick snapshot here with the data protection manager. <coughs> <coughs> try to create a snapshot for the folder called demo. I take a snapshot here now. And it's done. So we go back, we go back to Windows, and we see there are several files here. Well, there are 36 items here you, you see in the folder. If I accidentally delete some of the files, If I accidentally uh, delete some of the file, we can still do a very quick restoration by clicking, by using the previous version function building in the Windows. We have uh, this, uh, you can see the very uh, various uh, snapshot they got here. So we just uh, open the snapshot and see which file we would, like, we would like to restore. I think all the files are stored within the back uh, the, the, the snapshot here. So the snapshot has to work in conjunction with the Windows operating system? Uh, you can do both. You can, uh, you can restore the uh, snapshot within Windows or directly in our server. Mm -hmm. And is that a scheduled snapshot? I noticed you set it up manually just then. Um, do you have to do that all the time? Mm -hmm. or? Can you schedule to take snapshots? Uh, you can actually apply some schedule. For, uh, uh, currently, you can take a snapshot every five minutes. So it auto, uh, so everything should be automatically protected. Uh, just, uh, so just for the demo's purpose, we really manually created uh, the, yeah. Yeah. It's a, a daily basis, a weekly or monthly basis. And we have a very smart file protection, uh, protection policy. We can keep the more snapshots for recent files, and all we can keep a uh, less snapshot for longer file file more than that is more than one years ago. So, so, so we can uh, save more storage spaces on the on the hard drive. So with the snapshot here, we can. Yeah, we can simply uh, select one copy. Mm -hmm. Select one version and click restore. And we go, go back to the folder. Let's see the file. Okay, maybe we can do that again. Uh, if I remember the 
I have accidentally deleted AI and ABI icons. I deleted it. And I go, uh, go back to the folder. Without the help of the IT administ administrator, I can simply reduce the restore previous, previous, uh, previous version. It will very, uh, we find the version we need when we open it. So I can we find the AI and the ABI over here, a file here. Simply, simply copy it. And then update. It's quite uh, it's very quite convenient to use uh, to apply this natural technology to uh, to end up, uh, to business users. And also, in, we are trying to demonstrate the uh, high availability uh, search of function here. Uh, as we can see from this uh, HMA manager, as I uh, explained before, we have now connected with one so uh, expansion unit. And you can see that the <coughs> yeah. We can see how the connection are, are made now. Uh, we, are, we, are, we have two, uh, two servers here connected normally, and we have some power drive installed. So in the case of a sudden power failure, some, uh, we don't need to do uh, manual intervention for the uh, for the HA to take uh, to take over. So in the real case that if all the, although we have many hardware mechanism to do the uh, to do the redundancy in the very uh, extreme cases that the two uh, two sub power supplies are also uh, are all down uh, we can uh, our system will automatically do the failover now so I will just take out the two power supplies here and see how it happens. The system will still operates and in the short of time the system will uh, the, and, uh, the system will log us out but we can see here from the IP address here the IP address will all, also be the, all be the same in the meantime all the services are, are still running without any interruption So there is no need to change the IP address here. Administrator can still log in normally, and we should we have seen the message that the server are already switched over. With now the the real one as acting as the active server. All the services are continue, are continue, continue to run without any interruption, but always with, uh, with a minimal time of uh, service downtime. And without any uh, manual intervention, we can, uh, we can uh, try to reduce the system downtime. And an administrator can receive the information from, from uh, receive the warning message from the system that uh, you, you need to pay attention to, uh, to uh, there may be some power malfunction you need to ha handle with. But all the services and the files stored on the server are all protected. You can see no, uh, there's no corruption on the file stored. Thank you very much, Michael. Um, I guess one of the things I'm just going to